Hello people, this is George with yet another Call of Dragons video. Today we will continue speaking regarding Warpets. Uh, we are already finished uh, a lot of them and we are just having Venomous Lizard and the Sander Lizard guides. First we will be regarding Venomous Lizard and we will be speaking how, we, how Venomous Wizard can be used in a different situations and how in general this warpet works. First of all, as always, uh, we will speak regarding attributes and again, I will say yet again, quality matters, try to get a legendary one because you will be able to get 30% more uh, stats on the warpet. Regarding attributes on this warpet, uh, its main skill, uh, which is uh, infection, is agility skill, which means the higher your agility, the more damage your uh, skill will do. Uh, additional synergy skills on this warpet is strength, which means second uh, strongest base attribute on this warpet will be strength. First is agility, second is strength, and third one well, it depends. It can be spirit, it can be luck, and it can be intelligence. Endurance, maybe. Uh, remember, my uh, warpet is advanced because it's really hard to get a good quality warpet when there is a new season underway. So I will be speaking, uh, like, most important for me that I got the main skill. Uh, so remember, main stats on this uh, warpet is agility, strength, endurance, or spirit. That's the main stats. Uh, if you are not able to get legendary pet where you have like three S tiers or four S tiers, you just have epic ones, try to get A and A on agility and on strength. Regarding the skills of this pet, well, it's pretty interesting because infection is a skill where we have 20% chance to give enemy legions poison and this poison will be dealing damage every second for three seconds uh, and of course as i said this skill is determined by agility which means the higher agility you have on your pet the more damage factor you will have here right now it's like eight but higher you have your agility eight will be increased too so let's go and let's try to think about how we can build this pet in a most uh, valuable way, right? So if we will think that there is 20% chance that we're gonna give a poison uh, ticker to enemy and it will deal a damage every second for 3 seconds, that means the longer we live, uh, the higher damage we will get, right? Like, longer we live, we will have more time uh, to get this 20% and the poison will do its damage. But until we will th think about, like, legion types and where it can be useful, we need to build this synergy for the infection, which is pretty easy, right? Because you just need to uh, look for infection name, like, here, forceful infection, and this is determined by strengths. It's, it's just giving infection additional damage, which means this skill will be even more powerful if you will have forceful infection. And also there is a third skill, which is uh, super infection, and it's determined by luck, and it gives like uh, more chance to uh, give enemy legions infection. So this is a synergy. If you are not able to get super infection, try to get at least um forceful infection and these uh, these two skills will be already a good synergy as i said uh the longer your legion uh, is alive the more damage your warpet will deal right that's uh, why i think there is two play styles with this uh warpet first is like on an infantry with a tank uh you are getting like uh, healing uh, skills even like great care uh like Gentle Breeze, uh, like Dispelling, like Gordon uh, Oath, which is like giving, like restoring maxima, max count of the lingers, like everything, which will give you healing for you to be, to stay alive longer in order for you to get more de damage with infection will be good. That's my like main idea regarding this pet. And also here, uh, Poison Gland, uh, like you are bypassing enemy uh, legion HP 
can be good because this is this spell is agility spell and this pet needs a lot of agility in order to be good. Uh, following uh, following uh, playstyle will be like maybe you want to go all in on the damage and you're gonna get a maniac might like physical damage because like even if you are going with this pet with infantry with cavalry physical damage. Uh, additional percentage is always good but in my opinion the best way for you to play with this hero with this war pet is to just get the infection skills get hp uh, regeneration gauge get like uh, more tanky stuff in order for you to have a, your legion alive and when your legion is alive you will deal more and more damage time by time with infection regarding Heroes on the venomous uh, lizard can be like a couple of them. Uh, as I said, uh, it will be good if you have a strong infantry heroes, like best uh, way, like best um, uh, hero pairs in order for you to live longer is always Garwood, right? Because you are getting a lot of healing. Uh, Garwood even with uh, Eliana if you don't have second legendary can be good uh, Garwood with Nika can be uh, totally fine but in general Madeline and Nika is like uh, you, you are less tanky but you are dealing more counter attack damage so if we want our venomous lizard to be alive more time we need to have Garwood as a primary uh, and uh, Eliana can be secondary if you have Awakened Eliana because Awakened Eliana is getting a lot of shields uh, and shield is another way to uh, stay alive. Uh, and of course like you can even pair Garwood with Thea uh, because of healing and shielding but mainly this hero is for Garwood in my opinion uh, because Garwood is like one of the best heroes in the game in terms of staying alive like HP bonus uh, here is also healing uh, here is also healing received bonus defense bonus uh, so like anything which will give you heals in the in this game uh, the venomous lizard will be great on it uh, this is the guide which I wanted to make for you guys uh, because I'm sure you're interested regarding lizards. Uh, the last warpet which we will discuss in a later video is Thunder Lizard, which is pretty interesting. Uh, so if you guys have different opinions that I always say or you have different experiences, please share uh, because I'm learning the game just, just as much as you are. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye bye.